Yeah, boys. Big up yourself, like. So, yeah, batty boys. Oh, that's enough of that, yeah. Um, yeah, well, okay. Let's watch. Yes, this is a little bit faster. Because it's actually working now. Hooray. So, um, this guy here, if you notice it, is taking cover from this guy. Um, and what he's doing is using the EQS system in Unreal Engine. You notice where it's going sort of to cover? It's using the cover generator to generate the nodes, and it's each node's got um, probes for which directions it can take cover in. And the idea will be that um, you can take cover from your enemies. So if you look here, it's switching to that one. Get a bit too far, it switches to that one. So if you're here and this guy starts shooting at you, you'll run that way. And then you'll take cover of the wall and you'll shoot back. You run take cover in the wall, shoot back. Um, so there's a whole bunch of debug stuff I'm doing right now, so it's uh, not quite the uh, cleanest thing in the world, but just making sure it worked. So there you go, that's what I was working on. Um, and you can change, you know, how many nerds it returns and all kind of so it's um right now it's got quite a large distance but you notice it's only returning nerds with cover from this guy um i haven't done a visibility test from this guy yet i probably have to do that before it finishes too much but there you go see um yes so now the cover generator is actually working you know you can see that the covers all right this isn't cover because um, it's not stud co uh, crouch cover so there's a whole bunch of filtering and stuff on these nodes now but that's kind of the system working and it really does kind of work now I had to twiddle with some stuff there you go working eqs oh the light green one is the one that you want to go to there's a whole bunch of different modes for you know randomly choosing the best one and this one's just choosing the top one but you can choose like the best out of the top five return five percent return or whatever there you go eqs cover generation in which is nice and what it does is it updates as the um, generation updates. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be putting the, the characters. This is all in a separate test application because I didn't want to mess around with the other code base. But now that this works, I'll be pointing you back into the ground branch code base um, probably next, well, the coming weekend. And then we should have shooty bangs and stuff. Um, so that's good. That's a good one. Like that. And. Just to show you the other thing I was working on, well, working, bit of a bold statement, but um, I bought myself some stuff. One of the things was, as you see, um, jug, what's that called? Thing, vacuum bottle, according to this, flask. Um, and I've been doing some photogrammetry, so, you take your photographs around a, an object, you load them into this bit of software, you bish bash bosh, do a bit of messing around, and you get a 3D model, sort of. Now, it's not the best 3D model in the world, frankly, you know. I mean, it depends on where your photographs are and that kind of thing. But, you know, it could be cleaned up and used, sort of. The downside is you have to know what you're doing with photography, and I don't yet, so, like, you can see here it's got a decent photograph, but here it just loses detail too much. So there you go, yeah, that's 
another fun thing to play around with. Um, it it's actually better for things like rocks and walls and sort of stuff that doesn't necessarily have. This obviously has a lot of fairly defined sharp lines and stuff. There's a whole bunch of things I need to learn how to do, you know. Um, don't put a light object on a light background, maybe, that kind of thing. Anyway, we'll be playing around with that sometime in the near future as well. So there you go, there's the update for today. And it was today, so I didn't break any promises because I never promised in the first place. Okay, guys, see you later and hope you, uh, you like that one.